Guys, if you're wanting to make a move to maybe get in that home security system, uh, I've done some research on it this past week and I've actually got one I've been messing around with for the last week to study up on it so I can share it with you, explain to you how it works. Uh, security systems have come a long, long way with the internet of things and I've got lots of security cameras in and outside of my house, but I've finally wanted to add this last secure method with the Abode Home Security System. Now the Abode Home Security System, uh, it comes with uh, voice integration. It actually is a small uh, hub of some sort. So if you don't have a hub in your home right now, you may be able to use something like that to get you started. Uh, what you'll get in the package with the, uh, the basic home starters kit from Abode, you'll get the main unit. It's kind of small. It's nice looking. I've got mine in my uh, closet. Uh, that's where I keep all my internet stuff plugged into. So uh, I don't really see it. I can hear it when the thing goes off. Okay guys, uh, we're in my closet right now. This is where my uh, camera network rack is. And this is where I want to mount the Abode security system. Here it is right here, this little unit right here. You can kind of get a feeling for the size. And we're gonna connect it to here. It's got a one step instruction sheet on how to get this set up and connected. So we're gonna go ahead with that now. It says first to connect your power cord, your power adapter. Uh, it's a pretty big size uh, brick or block here for the power adapter, but we've got the room. And uh, here's your other end. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Make sure you hear that snap. And that's in all the way. And we'll run this down the back. And we're gonna plug it in right here on my power strip. And notice that orange light came on immediately. But now we have to connect it to our router system, which it comes with a, uh, a network cord. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in into the back here. Make sure you hear that snap. And I'm gonna find an open port here. And plug that in. Right down here, I've got one left. All right guys, still got the orange light. And then what you're gonna wanna do, they instruct you to go into the Abode Home Security app. We're gonna go ahead and continue. I've already registered my account. And you gotta enter the gateway key. Your gateway key is gonna be on this registration card right here. So we'll go ahead and enter our gateway key. Okay, our activation there. key has worked successfully. Gateway connected. So that easy. Now, next we'll set up your starter kit devices. Continue. Well, I don't have my devices out yet, so I'm going to go ahead. I just want to see what it says here. And we've got where we can add on window and door sensors, motion sensors, uh, streaming camera is optional. So let me get those out of the box here. And we'll see what those can do. Guys, I was able to uh, pair up some smart light bulbs to the Abode alarm system, security system, and it did work, as you can see here. These are called uh, my tower lights, I like to call them. Echo, turn on tower lights. Four different bulbs in there, and I've got another tower light over there with four different okay. bulbs. So they were all controlled with that one command. And it worked through the abode security system so it's possible it didn't recognize that particular brand bulb it said it was a dimmer meter that's what came up on the screen when i added it to the system but uh, i could rename it i edited the bulb name to uh power light bulb and it works so and it works with alexa so that's another option you have now this is the abode keychain remote one thing i wasn't too fond of were these uh, the labels up here. Kind of looks like tic-tac-toe there. And uh, it's hard to remember which button does what. I know now the X is standby. And uh, you got a dot here and a dot with a circle around it and then a plus. So I'm gonna put the labels on the screen here of what those actually do. 
All right, guys, I've got one motion sensor in this room pointing at this rear door, and I'm going to show you how that works. It's got a built-in flash. We'll see if you can notice that. It's turned the alarm on. So let's see how those pictures turned out. Now, guys, what I got here is uh, a camera uh, system that I've got. That I go into Chrome and I just drop this down. This is what I monitor my cameras or my house with is my individual cameras. I can click on, you know, any screen I want, enlarge it. I can move them around, left, right, up, and down. These are majority of these are uh, Amcrest cameras. So as you can tell, I get a very crisp, high definition uh, picture from them, and that's why I would recommend. Uh, going with your own security cameras, but then back it up with this abode security system to uh, really lock down your house. All right, guys, when you get your gateway uh, by abode set up and plugged in, this is going to be your dashboard. This is going to be the first thing you see when you log into your computer or desktop. And uh, you can actually do it here or on your mobile smartphone through their abode app um, I really recommend setting up on like a desktop or a laptop or something like that so you get this fully functional screen even though their app is really really uh, intense as well as this is uh, this is how I like to do it I have I can see more at one time rather than being on a small smartphone screen uh, so use your laptop or desktop that's what I recommend and right here we're on dashboard now first when you get your gateway set up you're going to want to stick your motion sensors in place on your doors and windows and any uh the motion sensors for the room stick on on the wall in a corner of a room or something like that so that it's in a good location and you're going to want to come up here and click on add device that's right here and when you go here this is the abode device list. So you're going to probably, get, if you get that big beginner kit, you're going to have one of these mini door sensors. Uh, you might pick up another few uh, door sensors as well. You just click on these to get them uh, armed uh, with the system or paired with the system. Uh, I also got this indoor motion camera wide angle. Uh, don't really recommend this, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Like I said, I have those uh, cameras, IP cameras, all around my house, inside and out. It records on motion, all of those cameras, and I can check in 24-7, anytime, anywhere in the world. So I recommend the boat system as a backup system to your IP cameras if you already have IP cameras. If you don't have IP cameras, then yes, go with their uh, motion camera. I'll show you how that works later on or even the 1080p streaming camera uh, that they offer. So also you can program your uh, or pair your key fob here. Now say uh, like I did, I purchased uh, other, a no name brand uh, dimmable Zigbee light bulb. And I was hoping it worked with the uh, abode system and it does. They do work. I got them programmed successfully last night. And right here, if you go into other devices, not the abode devices, if you go into other, you can see, uh, you can view supported devices and click on that and it'll come up with compatible Z-Wave and Zigbee devices that they have already programmed into their gateway. And it's gonna recognize them very quickly. It recognized my off-brand very quickly too, but it when it notified me, that it recognized it. It said it was a, I think it was, it said dimmer meter device. So it knew it was dimmable. And so then I edited the, uh, the name of my device after it came on the screen and I named it to whatever I wanted, which was tower lights. And I'll show you that as well. But, uh, and they dim as well. I'm going to show you that you just have to name it yourself basically you can also send them an email if you got a device or a 
you know, say a wall switch or wall plug, smart wall plug or something that's Z-Wave or Zigbee uh, or a light bulb, you can email them here. They'll actually go out, get that program for you so that it actually recognizes the name brand. But like I said, I think you can get around that. I did. And these are all my devices on the middle of the page here. And I do have a Nest thermostat. I also have a Echo Bee thermostat. As you can see here, this is my Nest. If I click on that, that's my home thermostat. That's the main one. And you can adjust the heating or cooling here right from the dashboard. Uh, you can integrate your abode system with Alexa or Google Home Assistant and just speak to operate these. You know, you could do that without a boat, but now they're all connected. So you can do them from here, from the website, from on your smartphone and the abode dashboard, whatever you're, wherever you're at, you know, at the time, whatever you're looking at or trying to monitor. And then these are the light bulbs right here, eight of them. I have these tower lights that have four light bulbs all the way down on each of them. And so there's four in each tower light. And I got them paired up because they're in my uh, little lake family room. And we turn them on in the evenings. And they work with Alexa. But I've got them paired through the abode system. Not through my SmartThings hub. Not through Alexa. And not through Google Home Assistant. These are actually paired through the abode gateway system. So your abode uh, home security system is actually a mini hub smart hub for your home so you can get smart switches smart plugs and outlets and stuff like that and pair them to your abode you don't have to buy that smart things hub if you're going ahead and going with this abode security system so that's a benefit right there and let's move on i've got the remote control paired up right here the key fob and it tells you the status right here the key fob is online it's recognized by the gateway uh, front door tells you it's closed. Back door is closed. These are the sensors that I have mounted right directly to the doors. Uh, I got a lake room motion sensor that came with the basic package. That's online. It's recognized. Uh, and I got an entry uh, camera sensor, motion sensor. And that's right here. And then my bedroom thermostat, Echo B thermostat, and my Nest thermostat. And it tells you right there automatically what the temperature is set to in each of those uh, rooms. So uh, this is the history. Now the photos on here, this is the photos with this, uh, their uh, wide angle camera motion sensor. It automatically snaps, uh, this one I did manually, but it automatically snaps three photos when it picks up motion um, I, like this. This is three photos. If you click on that, you can see, you can open up and you can see the three photos. But now look at this. This is uh, like 640 by by 480 or something like that resolution. They have a smaller resolution as well for like smartphones and stuff. If you don't want to uh, send a lot of bandwidth out of your out of your home internet, but I mean, I don't think I could tell who this person was. I mean, I know that was me in this picture, but I mean, the details just aren't there. I think that that was a low resolution one. Then I switched it to high resolution and I got this photo here snapped. That's a little bit clearer. And then this one here when it was set up to the higher resolution. I don't know if I would recommend them cameras. Like I said, I use my cameras. Back to uh, what I want to show you is like I can see clear view with my cameras here. So um, I would recommend, you know, getting your own cameras instead of their cameras. But uh, that's up to you. If you don't have any hooked up right now, then sure, I would get one or two of their cameras because it's better than nothing. So anyway, like I said, these pictures, this photo here, I'm not sure. I don't like the, there's no detail. If a cop came and saw this picture, he'd be pretty much, I'd ask him, do you want a copy of this? And he'd say, uh, no, why bother? I'm not able to do anything with that image. So, I mean, you could tell maybe approximate height by the uh, 
by how high the door is and the weight, you know, and the hair length, maybe in the possibly the either dark clothing or light clothing. That's about it. But anyway, you'll know if somebody is in your house and you know that it's not you. So you'll get that photo and then you're going to be on the phone. You can set it up to call police. You'll get the warning. It'll have a button to call police directly right from the app if you want to. Uh, you can actually uh, have a monitoring service. Uh, you can hire that monitoring service if you want for just like a three-day vacation or a two-week vacation. And then next thing on your list to the left is your alerts. Every time you got an alert, uh, you can see what set it off. Lake room motion alarm activated. Entry cam sensor alarm activated. Both of these things set this action off to take my picture when I was in the living room because both of them could actually probably see me at that point in my uh, room. And then I disabled it and disarmed it by putting it into standby. Uh, quick actions. Uh, I made a quick action just to try it out. I went in here, I'll show you. I picked, uh, I check marked this, capture images from all motion cameras. Auto flash, I set it to. And then I did next. And uh, so if I apply this, it's gonna take a picture from my motion camera, which I did down here. I got that alert. It, I just set that up just as a gimmick to try it out. So that's how you could do that. And then you've also got more in depth. This is their new beta Q automations and you can set up automations. Like I put up uh, one, I, I created one. When my phone leaves the property, it turns the bedroom temperature to 77 degrees because we usually sleep around 72 degrees. So. When I leave, it's going up to 77 during the day. And also, like I told you, I created a smart uh, little signal with my tower lights to where if that back door opens, then it triggers the tower lights. And let's see, you got legacy. This is uh, kind of like the automations up here. I would do everything in this queue automations, not the legacy automations and then integrations. You'll want to come here, especially if you have the Amazon Echo and you want to operate it with your Echo or your Google Assistant and operate your thermostats. You'll notice I have everything connected. It's very easy to connect these devices and everything's connected. You just go into your settings and go ahead and set those up and pair them and you'll have everything working just as you want and the next thing i wanted to show you while we're in here is if you open this account up and go to system settings this is where i found out before i made this video uh, the images were kind of crappy i showed you the first one it was 320 by 240 and it shot three images at a time when it detected motion i changed this i set it up to the high so it could go 640 to 480 shooting three images one after the other and then I applied that and saved it so you can also set it it's by default when you set that remote to set it to arm because you're away it counts down and clicks 60 seconds which is a really long time you know when you're getting ready and stuff you're just, you're just gonna head out the door and you're ready you can either tell Alexa to do that for you or you can have your little key fob remote and hit that away button and uh, it'll count down for 60 seconds by default. Now I set all these down because I'm in testing mode this week so I could set it down to like 20 seconds. Here I could set it down to even 10 seconds or I can even disable it if I just wanted to instantly be uh, activated or unactivated instantly so these are some separate settings make sure you got your correct time zone down here and you can set how long you want that alarm to sound I had it for two minutes because I was in testing mode I'm gonna set that back up to like I don't know 15 minutes I want it to be alarmed and sounding that alarm when I'm not here until somebody gets scared and leaves or you know until I get time to call the police 
or see what's going on. I'll just log into my cameras or whatever, see what's going on. Now guys, the most important thing, back to the dashboard, the top bar up here to the right, here's your three settings. Now you can set it for standby. Standby, everything is shut off. No motion sensors, no cameras, no uh, door or window sensors. All those things are shut off on standby mode. So when I've been testing this and testing out this dashboard and stuff, I've had it on standby mode. Now, if I put it to home, it's going to count down, see, 30 seconds. It's counting down, and then it's going to activate. The gateway is going to activate all those sensors only on the outer parts of your house. That's going to be the sensors that are on your doors and the sensors that are on your windows. The interior sensors, like your motion sensors, you'll be able to walk around your house. So this is for, for when you go to sleep at night, you'll set it to home, you're gonna go to bed, but if you get up, say you want a piece of cake or something, in the middle of the night you get up and you walk through the living room where that motion sensor is, that's not gonna sound off that alarm and wake up your spouse or whatever, or your kids or your doggies. Uh, so that's where you want it when you're at home, everybody's at home in the evening watching TV or whatever, or going to bed at night want to set it to home <clears throat> now you'll want to set it to away if you click away i've got that set to 30 second countdown once that is set after 30 seconds all your sensors are activated whatever triggers any sensor it's going to start taking pictures if it picks up on motion from your motion camera uh, it's going to sound the, and sound the alarm. Any motion picked up, if you walk across your living room or wherever you have a motion sensor, any window that's open, any door that's open, everything is on. It's full on game right there when you've got it set to away. So what, you don't want to be home when it's set to away uh, unless you're expecting to hear that alarm go off. So that's when you want to do it for away is when you're leaving the house and nobody else is in there. Otherwise, uh, have it on standby or on home if you're not going to be going in and out of your doors. So that's all I have to say about that. And I think we've fully covered this uh, Abode uh, desktop management system. So guys, what do you think? Um, I'm pretty satisfied with the Abode system. Uh, what I like about it the most is it helps me button up my house. I had the video security with my IP cameras that I can check in and monitor and I've got them recording on motion 24-7 uh, but the the last thing I needed was actually something to alarm my house and say if I go away for three four days maybe even a couple weeks or a week or something like that and I want somebody to professionally monitor my house I have the system in place and it's all wireless all wireless I can control it from anywhere in the world from my smartphone or any desktop I just log into it see what's happening um, I think they've got these security systems down right finally and they're so simple the average homeowner is not going to have any frustrations as you can see as I showed you in the video everything's very simple easy to do anybody can do it you can have your kids put it together for if you wanted to I mean you just stick the sensors on the doors or the windows wherever you want motion sensor here in that room motion sensor in that room a camera here or there and then you pick your plan that you want if you want the basic plan and go with free you monitor it yourself you're good to go so guys thank you for watching another one of my videos and guess what I'll see you on the next one and the walls are closing in Just remember where we're going And remember where we've been